hello friends uh, in this video we are going to learn how to recognize faults folds sorry not faults folds recognition of folds is the topic of uh, our today's video in this we are going to learn different different ways how we can find folds and how to recognize them okay so uh, without wasting time let us start so recognition recognition of fold means to recognize means to find out how, how it looks and to find it in different different places by uh, means uh, whenever we meet any person what we see their face okay and by face we recognize them and we know that this is uh, John this is Chris like this uh, just like that uh, we uh, by seeing a place we can recognize fault so this process of recognizing the fault folds is called recognition of folds so the first way is folds can be found by studying the topography of an area by studying the topography of uh, any area we can recognize the folds uh, what is topography topography means physical characteristics on a of an area physical characteristic means what are the physical uh, importance of that area means mountains uh, rivers uh, plateaus like this these are the physical characteristics of an area so by studying these kind of characters we can find out folds the second is repetition of outcrop what is an outcrop first of all we have to understand what is an outcrop an outcrop is a large mass on the surface of earth large mass of earth large mass of mass of rock so repetition of outcrop of rock suggests the presence of folds I mean from one place outcrop keep on coming out okay uh, it uh, is uh, repeated and after some times so when we remove that again an outcrop is found there so just like that uh, so this represents what this suggests us that there is a fold present in that place the third one is if fold is of open type this means uh, yeah if we see on the surface uh, an area like this so uh, and uh, if we uh, anyhow find its dip and uh, dig dig further in that area so we will find uh, an structure like this this means if the fault is open type then reversing the dip what we did we we find we found we we had an hint an area like this that is a hint for us and by calculating its dip we reverse the dip and we we moved we dug we started digging uh, in its dip and we found find found out a uh, open type of fold so this means by reversing the dip uh, dip direction we can find out folds but which kind of fold open type fold okay uh, plunging folds give rise to curved outcrop see do you know what is a plunging fold a plunging fold is a fold which have an inclined axis okay so if we see a curved outcrop means curved large mass of rock uh, on the surface so it suggests that there is a a plunging fold present okay and this curved outcrop is called nose or closure okay the fifth uh, and the last point is during cutting excavation and drilling folds are found excavation means digging and drilling means you know digging deep digging deep okay cutting is uh, you know by while, while cutting the track oh, sorry while cutting for uh, roads developing roads on mountains cutting is done this kind of thing so during cutting excavation and drilling folds are found so these are the four or five methods for recognition of folds and finding out them now what are the effects of fold so the first effect uh, of fold is folds are formed due to tectonic compressional forces i had explained you in the uh, former videos that uh, when we compress suppose this is a raw this is a rock layer and we compress it from both sides then folds are formed and tectonic means tectonic plates when tectonic plates uh, when the forces are produced by tectonic plates uh, then these forces are called compressional tectonic compressional forces as a result what happens rock gets distorted deformed or disturbed this means uh, these all words have the same meaning distorted and deformed means change in shape and size of the rock okay so due to uh, these compressional forces what happens rocks are disturbed deformed uh, and broken also okay the second one the second effect is due to these forces strain or stress is st stored in rocks okay uh, 
I am not reading this occurs because this may confuse you. But it is same. The meaning is same. Strain due to these forces. What happens when we apply forces? The the rocks store some strain or stress in them. And when this strain is released, then what happens? Bulging or caving takes place. Suppose I have a rubber and I stretch it like this. Okay, I stretch and when I will release it, so it will again come to its original position. Just like that, as this rubber stores tension and when it is released then it again comes back to its original position just like this happens with the rocks so what happens with the rocks suppose this is a rock okay this is a rock and uh, some tensional forces is stored in it so it's a force acts on it and it becomes like this so what what has happened here caving took place okay caving means a cave like structure is formed so this process is called caving and when this uh, this is released when this uh, yeah this strain or stress will be released then it will again come back to its original position or move more than that means uh, this was the its straight part and this part has come out because of the release of energy so this has become like this so this is bulging okay so this is what it want to say that due to the forces what happened what happens strain is stored in the rocks and when this strain is released when strain is stored then caving takes place and when this stress is released bulging takes place okay and the last one is affected rock bend upwards or downwards and the, the affected rock they either bends uh, upwards or they bend downwards and the rock strata that was original originally horizontal becomes inclined okay this is what it is saying so notes